Hi there, I'm Brian Norton and I'm with Norton Results. And in this short video, I am going to show you how to take your business from where it's at today to great in three short steps. Now, if you're frustrated in your business, you feel like you're a prisoner of your own company, you don't have enough time to do what you want to do, what you love to do, you're always working in your business, not on your business, you're watching these this inflationary period and rising costs start chewing into your revenues. You have employee issues from retaining your employees to recruiting your employees. You need to watch this video because once you implement these three steps, it will change your life and start making massive impacts on day one. Now, a little bit about myself. I have been an entrepreneur, I've built businesses, sold businesses, built companies, helped other other companies sell their companies. Um, I've helped over 1,500 clients in my career so far. I'm a published author, I do public speaking. Um, but I got, I didn't get into this last night, so I gotta tell you, by sitting across from so many clients, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. There really is if you implement this. Now, I I grew up extremely poor. I grew up on food stamps and the ones that you pulled out out of a sheet. My mom was a mother of three children and she was a single mother. Um, I stood there when I was 12 years old. We had to get groceries. She pulled out her coupons. My sisters ran to the car. I stood there proud because, you know, she's doing it. She's working two jobs. She's doing everything she can. So I knew... At that moment, even at that young age, I knew I didn't want to be there. And so when I, I started working when I was 13 to help contribute, um, I joined the military in my junior year of, of high school. My senior year, I became all state in sports, had scholarship offers, but then I, I still went through the military. I was in special ops, got out, paid for my bachelor's degree, paid for my MBA, and that's where I started into my companies. But the true reason why I am so excited to show you this video is because the clients that I sat across from and we're very good at business or we're not, we're good at what we do in business and we're not very good at the business side of the business. So our trade, our skill, whatever that is, that's what made us get into business, but we we kind of forget the business side of it. And that's why it's exciting to sit here and teach. And if I can help you implement these today, it'll take that stress off your shoulders and man, it will you will start killing it. So what I want you to do, grab a piece of paper and write this down. Because if you don't write it down, it's not real. And we want it to be real because when we step on a scale, and we're trying to lose weight, the reason we don't step on the scale is because we're afraid what that scale is going to tell us, but that's okay. We need to know this. Now, in my clients, I've had them from a $500,000 a year in revenue to $200 million, from one employee to 2,000 employees. And I gotta tell you, even the guys that had 200 million really didn't know how to answer some of these questions. So the first question I always ask when I go see a client is, what does it cost you an hour to run your business? Now, 90% of the clients I sat across the table with couldn't answer that question. Now, when, when you ask that question, you got to understand what is it cost, what's my cost of goods sold, and then what's my overhead, and you divide that out in your hours, and then you kind of get an hourly cost. So that we would call step one is what does it cost us an hour to run our business, and that's our break even. So then our break even becomes, let's say hypothetically, it's three hundred dollars. So three hundred dollars an hour. So write down. Do the math, write down what your number is to um, for an hourly cost, okay? Now then you gotta ask yourself outside of it is, who is working on that hourly task? So who's responsible for bringing in that $300 an hour of in uh, revenue into our business? 
If, if it's not you, somebody must be working on that. Or are you down in the weeds and you're working on the $20, $30 an hour tasks that you hired someone else to do? But if that's the case, again, we've got to get back up to that level so that way we're always going forward. If you spend one hour into the weeds, that means you have to spend two hours doing that $300 an hour task, okay? So we must understand what it costs us an hour to run our business. Now, the second simple step is to understand our burn rate. So when you have a profit and loss, and then you have your balance sheet. On your balance sheet, you'll have your debt. How much debt has the company acquired? Well, you've got to take that debt and you got to divide that out into your hourly, and then you have to add it to your break even. So your break even is just really your cost of doing business, but now you have your burn rate on top of that. So let's say it's $200 an hour to service our debt. And these are just hypothetical. So you take that $200, add it to the 300, so now we're at $500 an hour, to run our business before we make a dollar, before we make a penny. So, and I have so many clients come to me and say, well, Brian, I, I'm making, I've made a million dollars in revenue. I have made 10%, so I made $100,000 at the end of the hour. So my, my uh, profit and losses, I made hundred, but I don't know where my money's at. Where did it go? Well, we forgot that all of this debt over here has to come into play with our uh, break even. We still have to pay taxes on that money down there and that's where people get upset because they don't know how to marry those. Now again, 90% uh, of my clients didn't understand this. I didn't understand this when I was first starting off in my career and I wish I, wish I would have known that, but you have the tools now, implement this into your company. The third, Simple step for you to put into place is price for profit. And what does price for profit mean? That means if I want 10% profitability, I must take 10 cents of every dollar and put it onto the side. Because if I don't, I'll always wait until the end of the period, the month, the quarter, the year, and go, ooh, this is all I've got left over. Why? Um, so in 2008, nine, and 10, when we had the last big recession and we had 1.8 million businesses close their doors, they didn't price for profit. And if you price for profit, no matter what the economy is doing, you will be able to th thrive and flourish because as you go up, our budget goes up. But as the economy dips, we will also make sure that we, we won't dip as well. So that what that means is if I'm taking 10% profitability, so 10, 10 cents off of every dollar that comes in, and now my dollars that are coming in are shrinking, that means my budget and my overhead has to, has to coincide. So what happened in those days is all of a sudden their, their budgets or their revenue went from $3 million to $1.5 million, but their budgets and operating costs were still on a $3 million. And it inverted and we can't keep up in bankruptcies and, and shutting the doors. And we don't want that to happen. So if you're frustrated by working in your business, and not on your business, you feel like a prisoner to your business, please call me. You need to call me, schedule a call. Uh, during that call, we will get into your business deeper and we will put in together a roadmap that can get you out of this and how it works for your business. I only work with serious business owners. So if you're not serious about taking your business to the next level and you just want to have a conversation, I'm not the guy for you. I get extremely passionate, extremely excited helping business owners that are frustrated and tired and they want to go take their business from here to way up here. I, I love that. I, I, 
thrive on that. Love it, love it, love it. But if you're not one of those people and not ready for that conversation, I do not work with you. So book a call with me today. And until then, cheers to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I look forward to talking with you.